Today we're going to review and rate Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush episode 31. <laughs> this episode deserves that applause. So, wanna know why? Keep on watching. And I thought two episodes ago, two episodes ago that we have uh, that we have seen its funniest episode. I was fucking wrong, guys. But before we get into that, first order of business, the thumbnail. After losing his duel with London, si Netsuzo, niligalawang pa ng, ng Great King of Terror. Yup, folks. Uh, nagparamdam na rito ang Great King. Binuksan niya yung lalagyan, and out came the slight and freezing mist. They were all in awe of what they saw. And well, that's that's where the episode practically ended, guys. Talagang binitin tayo, right? Well, that kind of um, that kind of a moment in an episode, yeah, it deserves to be a thumbnail. Now, on to the nitty gritty of the episode, guys. Face. Ang episode nato ay hindi lang isang dual scene, right? Technically, there are two, along with some smaller dual scenes between. Uh, between the spectators of the uh, of the uh, of the Nanaho versus uh, Asaka duel, the pacing of this episode was just right for this episode. Why? Guys, it's hindi lang isang duel scene like I told you a while ago. Dalawa. <laughs> so, ang bilis ng pacing. But am I complaining? No. Right? You pagkaka. Uh, mix ng dalawang dual scenes um, it's really nice kasi we're, we are trying to grasp what is what is currently happening in the current timeline so talagang uh, Bridge really had to do it this way right? that's the way I see it tapos sinihita pa mga mini duels and wow it, it, it was it was hilarious okay? it, was, it was absolutely hilarious the moment na uh, naghang yung yung duelo yun <laughs> grabe kung pinagalan nila ang pace ng episode na to malamang hindi tayo matatawa eh. <laughs> no complaints as, as to the pacing of this episode guys alright flow naman first gear shift here was obviously uh, naghang yung duelo nila asa at nana ho <laughs> it triggered the hilarious moments of this episode that's why I called it the gear shift. No brainer, guys. Okay, it was really hilarious. And uh, there's another reason why I called it the gear shift because it is so relatable. Tandaan nyo guys, we are still in a pandemic, and when the pandemic started, talagang everyone, everybody uh, was out of fun, especially us Yu-Gi-Oh players. Hindi kami makapagduelo eh. So they all, so they found a solution in remote dueling. So this gear shift pays tribute, sort of, to uh, to the um, to that initiative by by uh, by all by practically all the Yu-Gi-Oh players around the world. Second gear shift was when London and Netsuzo found the Great King of Terror ship. If that is a gear shift to you guys, I don't know what is. Ako ang nagulat ito. Aba! Ito pala ang bagay nila London at Nexus, oh! To, to seek out the Great King of Terror himself. Kaya pala, nagpursigi silang makahanap na sarili na spaceship. Ah, hindi, hindi pa sila sumabay dun sa mga sa sa Mutsuba Township. Dahil ka nag, uh, uh, nag-solo, nag, nag-solo flight sila, technically. And, this is the gear ship that, that uh, partially introduced us to the Great King of Terror. Final gear ship was when uh, the Great King gifted the loser of the duel, Sinetsuzo, with something. Wow. Uh, that left everybody in awe. That's a no brainer there, folks. Daniel, it's now setting us up for future episodes. Magandang setup. All things considered, we might see the Great King of Terror's face finally in the next episode. 
So these three gear shifts that I saw, um, it won't be enough if you if you see just these three gear shifts. Watch the whole episode, <laughs> or you're gonna miss out on the uh, on the really funny moments. Right? Plot wise, um. Super planchado ang plot, guys. Ah, hey, hey. It, this episode comprised mostly of multiple dual sequences, and for and for bridge to um to, to iron them all out in one episode, this nicely and while well, producing hilarious results. Wala walang wala ito na kabigyan when it comes to katatawanan here. Eh. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off to this episode. And kung uh kung kung nalata ako sa bug yung plot hindi ako matatawa eh. Maganda yung timing ng mga sub uh hindi din mga sub. Yung mga minor dual scenes doon sa mga uh between in between the two major ones. Maganda eh. Right? I, I got no complaints as to the, as to the plot of this episode. Talaga. Well, iron out a plot of episode. Well, it's the type of iron out plot that you'll only see in the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise. Hmm. At hindi ako sa at hindi sa pagiging Yu-Gi-Oh fan ito, guys. Okay. So pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. Nagam. Nasulit ang oras ko rito. Okay. Nasulit ang oras ko rito. So. Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 31! No greater, guys! You know... I, and I thought episode 28 was the, was the funniest. This almost uh, topped it off its pedestal as the funniest. Right? So, I strongly recommend you watch this episode. And of course... Our next review, right here. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Goras, episode 31. Two thousand.